Power BI DAX Tutorial Part 4 Hi, I am M. Asif Hussain from Knowhub Academy. What are we going to learn in this video? We are going to learn and understand the different text functions in Power BI such as Upper, Lower, Length, Left, Right, Mid, Replace, Search, Concatenate, DAX functions. So in our recent parts of our Power BI DAX tutorial, we have learned different date and time functions. We have learned different aggregate functions. We have learned different logical functions. Now we are going to see different text functions. So my dear viewers, here in this data, if we have a look into it, so we have the uh, columns called as country, customer, components, category, model, color and so on. Am I right? So here what I'm going to do, let us learn the first DAX function, which is upper, U-P-P-E-R, upper. So what upper function generally does is that it will convert the lowercase letters into uppercase letters, which means the capital letters. So here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a new column and in this new column, I'm writing the name here as upper. So the DAX function itself is upper. What upper function is telling us? It will convert a text string to all the uppercase letters. So what is the text that we have it here? We have, let us consider the color column. So the color column, I would like to convert it into uppercase letters. So as we can see in the output, we will get all the strings in the uppercase letters. Though you might have it as a first letter capital and the rest of the words in a lowercase letters, or your whole string will be in a lowercase letters, it will convert it into uppercase letters. So upper DAX function is generally used to convert the strings from lowercase letters to uppercase letters. Okay. So now let us learn the another DAX function, which is lower function. So here what I'm doing in the same new column, if I would like to convert the uppercase letters into lowercase letters, then I will convert it using lower DAX function. So what lower is telling, it will convert all the letters in a text string to a lowercase letters. So if I click on enter, I'll get lower as you can see, I'm getting lower here. Okay, if you want, we can go and change the name. Let me consider string. Okay, so here I have changed the name as string lower of the column name. So I have chosen the column called color. So whichever the column are we going to use, it purely depends upon the uh, applications and purely depends upon the scenario what we will be working on it. Okay, so we have learned upper DAX function, we have learned lower DAX function. Now let me uh, talk to you about the next DAX function, which is length, L-E-N. So here what I'm doing, so I would like to find out the length of a string. So for example, as we can consider the color blue, B, L, U, E. So there are four, the, the length of the color string blue is four. So I would like to find out the length of the string. So for that, I will use the DAX function called LEN. So for that, I'm what I'm doing, I'm just changing this one to LEN. It returns the number of characters in a text string. So if I would like to click on enter, then as you can see that I'm getting the numbers here. Four, the color of uh, the, the blue length is four. So rest of the color numbers we are getting it as a number. Okay, if you want to find out the length of a string, then we will go with the DAX function called as LEN length. All right. So now let me ask you one simple question. So let us consider that I have the color and I have the business segments. Okay. So now I would like to see what are the different possibilities that we have it here 
so i would like to combine the components with the color okay so uh, blue bike uh, blue components yellow bike yellow components in this way so for that what i have to do for this we have to use a function called concatenate okay so that's we are going to learn in the next tax function which is concatenate so what i'm doing here so let me just change the dax function name okay so here what i'm doing let me choose concatenate so concatenate what concatenate is telling it will join the two text strings into one text string so what is the first text that i would like to consider that is business segment comma now if the text i would like to consider is color column so data of color data is my table name so if i click on enter we can see that i am getting it you know two text are getting combined into one as you can see bikes black bikes blue bikes red bikes yellow components black components blue components red components silver components yellow so two strings we are getting into one now you might have a question so as concatenate is giving us the option of joining only two text strings what if the possibility i would like to join more than two strings then what i'll do i will use the symbol called ampersand or and so and symbol i'll use it so with this what will happen you can join more than two text strings that is the possibility if you would like to join more than two strings in one particular cell so that is what is a concatenate dax function so now let's learn the another uh, dax function which is left which is left so for this what i am doing as we can see c o m p o n e n t s so what left function is doing so first let me show you the syntax of left so i'll choose a new column here in this new column what i am going to do i am going to write the name as left so the dax function is left dax function so what this left dax function is doing it will return the specified number of characters from the start of a string so here we have to give the text okay so text what i am giving here let me consider business segment comma how many number of characters you would like to see starting from the left position so let me consider four let me consider four so if i click on enter c o m p four four characters that's what we have got it c o m p starting from left okay so in the same way if you see bike b i k e four characters so four so that's what what left dax function is giving us it will giving us the number of characters with the specified number that we are giving it and it will start counting it from the left side okay so that's what we have got it here in the left dax function now in the same way let me go and choose a new column and in this new column what i am doing i am writing the another dax function which is right the dax function itself is right so the same way how we have learned the left dax function now what right dax function is doing it will start counting it from the right side okay so i'll write the name of the column that is business segment comma now let me choose four here okay again for that uh, for from the la, right side c o m p o n e n t s so e n t s at the last will be our output so in the same way the last four uh, uh, digits of uh, you know bikes uh, i k e s the four or okay, b is getting eliminated so this is what the left dax function and the right dax function will work so it will give us the number of characters if it is left function starting from left and it will give us the number of characters from the right side if it is right dax function so left function and right dax function now what happens if it is a If if I would like to fetch or if I would like to get some number of characters from middle, okay, so that's what I'm going to tell it to you. So I'll choose a new column here. In this new column, let me write mid, mid equal to middle. So in the nothing but middle, okay. 
so returns a string of characters from the middle of a text string given a starting position and a length so what is the text text is a business segment so what is the start position let me consider one and number of characters how many we want well, let me consider three okay so from starting till the three or if you would like to change the position let's start from the second position and i would like to get the three number of characters okay so let me click on enter omp why we are getting omp okay so i am telling that i have to start from the second position second position is o three characters omp so we have got three characters so if we want to pick some number of characters from the middle we will use the dax function called as mid mid so from this mid dax function what happens is that we have to give our starting position to count and with the number of characters that we would like to see it in the result set so that's what we have got it here in the mid dax function all right so we have learned left we have learned right now we have learned mid also let us see what is meant by what is meant by replace let us learn the next dax function which is replace so for this i am choosing a new column by the name itself we already know it is replace it's a replacing some string so here what i am doing i am choosing something called as replace and replace itself is a dax function so what replace is doing replaces a part of a text string with a different text string so what is the old text that we it is asking us to give okay so old text let me give the business segment okay comma starting position let me consider 2 number of characters let me change 3 and the new text let me give it as uh, let me consider a f z okay some name like this so in the place of o in the place of o m p i have to get a f z i am replacing the string so just click on enter we will get the value as we can see c a f z o n e n t s c a f z o n e n t s but for bikes as we don't have that okay so what we are going to get in the place of second in the place of second position and third position no matter if it is omp whatever might be the second position of bikes b i k e in the place of i k e i am getting a f z and yes and b is is at as it is it is the same okay so this is how you have to use the replace dax function when will we use it so we most probably use it when we are getting some um, errors or when we are getting some mistakes in the column values or in the row values then what we are going to do we are going to use replace dax function we are going to replace the strings so that's what we have it under replace dax function now let me go and ask you one simple question you don't know some concept let us consider or you don't know some important point which you would like to talk with it so what we generally do we go and search it in google so in the same way we have a function which is a dax function called search here in power bi so what does this search dax function it will do it will returns the starting position of one text string within another text string search is not case sensitive that we have to note it down it is not case sensitive so what is the text that we would like to find out that text we have to keep it so let us consider i would like to find a text okay so what i am doing let me consider ts okay i would like to consider ts comma within the text so what is within the text data of business segment comma starting position if it is 2 okay if you do not find any value what should be the output it should be zero i am clicking on it so as we can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 am i right so the letter t that i am giving it here ts in the components ts and t is in the ninth position that's what it is telling me the answer ninth position okay so what i'm doing i'm searching where by particular string as okay i'm searching where do i have my value so that's what i'm searching this one where from where am i searching this i'm searching this from my column name then what is the starting point if i did not find any of these answers or when i'm searching it what should be the output it should be zero so that's what 
is a search DAX function will work. So you can use this search DAX function most of the time in the sales and marketing sector. You can use it most probably in the finance sector because most of the times it will you it will you will be working on a very huge data, very huge data set size. So it is very difficult to search. So if you use the search DAX function, it will be very much helpful for you to search some appropriate things that you are looking for. So in this video, my dear viewers, we are go we have learned various text DAX functions that we have in our uh, Power BI such as upper, lower, mid, concatenate, left, right, replace, search DAX functions in Power BI. So thank you for choosing Knowhub Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep